Hello everybody, welcome to a very special edition of Stand Firm. I'm Jims McMahon, unfortunately Gorilla Metso couldn't make it tonight, but it's this is going to be amazing and we're going to start it, the show with the announcement of the uh, special show from Mr. Jims McMahon himself. I can't wait. Oh, I fucked it up. <laughs> I fucked it up. I should have had the other thing on. <laughs> oh, this is nowhere near as funny as him walking out. <laughs> There's no idea as good as just seeing him walking out wearing it, but never mind. I forgot they were loading screens. Oh, he's walking out in this! Well, it's a disaster then. God damn it! Well, I thought I was gonna come out here in my spacesuit, but it hasn't worked out for some reason. But never mind. I, we are here, live from the spaceship, Keld, Skeld even, the space station Skeld. It's a very special edition of Stand Firm. It's an Among Us special. We're all here in space, and it's gonna be outstanding. So, without further ado, let's get it started. And boy, am I sad that I'm not dressed up in my captain outfit. Now, Tony Plays Paulie was advertised to be on this show, but unfortunately, he wasn't smart enough to put his spacesuit on. So, he's going to be replaced by Squirrel Dude. But, uh, never mind. Let's go. See ya. For fuck's sake, Tony. Stop being shit. <laughs> there you go, Tony. Tony caught venting on camera. Should I should I put the stand firm over? Or do you want to see them on the loading screens? The people who are wrestling. Maybe we should have the stand firm loading screen here. Alright then. So first up, make it a surprise. First up, we've got the Unnatural Snackers, J5 and Satterfield versus <laughs> the Norse Canuts, Space Cadet and Moe Plovac. Now, this is a very special episode. Everybody in this show will have competed in 10-man uh, games of Among Us. <laughs> so, <laughs> not everyone who's played Among Us is on the show, but... It's all the Among Us players, and uh, everyone is going to be in Among Us attire, hopefully. So there you go. And it's going to be fucking glorious. That's the plan. Unfortunately, it started off as a disaster. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Night Demon. <laughs> Sadly, no. is also it's it's also stand firm, right? So it's also mostly cruiserweights and heavyweights. So, um, Squirrel Dude wasn't even going to be on, but um, Tony didn't work. So, <laughs> oh boy. I don't know why they haven't come out as a tag team. That doesn't make any sense. The tag teams not work with uh, with manager retires. <laughs> he is J five. <laughs> 
Pretty incredible. This is J5's attire in, in Among Us. Oh, dear. <laughs> the heart and soul of the JFW for some reason no one see if only yeah they must not come out with their tag team entrances if they oh no well then here they are is it and tag team <laughs> <laughs> Here's the Norse Canucks. <laughs> Sassy Space Cadet. <laughs> it's pretty great that they get to keep the, because uh, the, there's the Norse helmet on uh, Among Us, isn't there? So that works out quite well. <laughs> the Space and more power. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah, the stink face, yeah. Yeah, and the Ben's eye drop. <laughs> Yes, uh, tragically, that means there is no chest hair. <laughs> well, Plovak doesn't rush, does he? <laughs> Space got under the second rope's amazing. <laughs> Oh, wow. Have all my money. Baked beans on toast for me for the next month. 10p bread, but no butter. My character is still da best. F O O O O O O W W W W W A A A A A R R R R R. Get correct. Kappa. <laughs> Thanks very much, Goliath. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very, very much. And here we go to the Snackers that for some reason weren't introduced as the Snackers versus Norse Country. I f forgot they weren't the Norse Canuts anymore. And uh, Space Cadet getting the better of Saturday Todd here. Saturday Todd wearing his cowboy hat in the ring. That's apparently not a problem. There might be some, some crazy clipping issues here as these are meant to be only entrance only attires. So, you know. <laughs> the game may even crash. I don't know. But yeah, he's got he's got this. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? So you know, it's, this is what he has. And uh, the snackers both in bright yellow. <laughs> yeah, the hat's a bit much, isn't it? I'm glad Lee and Gary doesn't have his hat on in in matches. Oh my god, what a kick to the back of the head! Lays the lays space cadet the fuck out, doesn't he? Actually. In comes Plague Doctor J5. <laughs> Very appropriately in these COVID times. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, to be fair, Satterfield is yellow and J5 is yellow, so like. They, they, they're both yellow when they are, so you like. They're, 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 they're spacemen clothes, Goliath. Space suits, whatever, because it's an Among Us, an Among Us special. <laughs> oh, what a suplex. I could have put more effort in all the clothes, but I was just trying to make it work, so I didn't want to didn't want to risk anything. 
<laughs> Among Us WrestleTastic, indeed PC, yeah. <laughs> We've gone for the Among Us. Among Us avatars where possible. Uh, well, I'm going to try and think about some kind of schedule, Goliath, then you might be able to join in then. Who knows? Space Cadet. <laughs> Going for it. I know, right? I should have. I should have pre-recorded it just so that calcium gets instantly killed. <laughs> oh, hey, Wanya! <laughs> oh dear. Well, not never J five. He's probably about eighteen percent of the time the imposter. <laughs> J5 not in it. None of the stats are on here, are they? Satterfield hasn't filled it in. Oh, it's a draw! Classic. Classic JFW wrestling there. Absolutely classic. Um, Alright, let's put this on. I should have had the space background, shouldn't I, for this? That would have been better. I didn't think of it till now. So next up, we've got a triple threat between... <laughs> this is brilliant, right? Now that you know it's an Among Us special, right? It's just Joe versus Adonta Kellis and Lean Gary. <laughs> because for some reason... <laughs> for some reason, just Joe was dead against the Germans. <laughs> so it is. The Germans and just Joe in a triple threat match. Um, first pin wins. There's, it's not elimination, unlike Among Us. This is not elimination. This is a triple threat. The first pin to win will win the match, and it is two heavyweights and a plim plom pluserweight. So there you go. That's rather good, isn't it? <laughs> It'll be interesting to see uh, Joe's entrance. <laughs> it's just the same. Glorious. <laughs> Fire Wanka Joe. <laughs> it's still Fire Wanka Joe. <laughs> Match just Joe versus the Germans. Brilliant. Sting, but unrelated. 
He is lean Gary. <laughs> <laughs> the two heads jump. <laughs> lean Gary. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? Actually, oh, I've just realised what I should have done. Never mind. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. He is Odont, the prehistoric turtle. The prehistoric German turtle. I realize I probably should have given him his stupid feet outside the suits, shouldn't I? But I didn't. Never mind. Exactly, yeah. The sh he's still got the shell. It's just, it's just covered by the suit, isn't it? Yeah, obviously. And same with his claws and his big feet. It's just all... All uh, the suit encompasses everything. Not a problem. It's crazy he does the feet entrance and then uh, has big feet. <laughs> Maybe he's the imposter. <laughs> Vote him out just to be sure. So these have all got their uh, their JFW hats on, funnily enough. But still in their space suits. Whoa. I see Germans going at it. Whoo! That's uh, that's an Odon ejected. <laughs> <laughs> Detective to me. <laughs> I should have made a try for this, really, shouldn't I? Oh, big inverted uh, ball bus strike, I don't know what it's called. Atomic drop. And smashes him into the corner. But Joe fights back with a side Russian leg sweep. And then goes after Odont. He's really just Joe, just races. Look at this. Well, xenophobic, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh it was counted oh <laughs> the boot to the face of lean Gary hold on just going straight after just Joe again hits him with a sidewalk slam <laughs> and then lean Gary misses with a kick the boot to the head that was a bit of a bit of almost a put kick wasn't it but then uh, hold on gets him down Kicks him in the guts. Oh, but a sneaky, a sneaky lean Gary there. Maybe he turned the lights off and that's how he got the jump on him. Going for a pin. Joe's having none of it. <laughs> oh, lean Gary sidles out. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, ejects jaw there. <laughs> no need for an airlock. Oh. 
oh look at that big big county shouldn't have tried to uh shouldn't have tried to fireman's carry just joe he knows exactly how to get out of that oh my god what a german suplex oh joe taunting taunting lean gary with a german suplex <laughs> Big up a cut from Odond. But Joe straight back into it. Wiley just Joe. Oh, twist of fate. Unbelievable. Doesn't can't take advantage though, as Lean Gary whips him in the corner, gives him a stinger splash. Which looks like it killed him. <laughs> oh, and he's going for the six shooter. He won't tap here, but surely, because Odon will break it up. Yeah, with it jumping on him with his shell there that was a good idea. Four, big right hand. Lean Gary votes himself off. <laughs> Odon can't get the pin. <laughs> Baza. Oh. What a what a massive throw that was. And you can hear Odon saying, Do not diss the Germans. <laughs> I am the leader. <laughs> I couldn't believe when he said that. Even though it's like totally innocent in German, it's not if you're English and, and hear it, is it? <laughs> massive running power slam. They don't care that uh, that Joe's <laughs> that Joe's massively xenophobic. They just want to win the match. <laughs> Some kind of a cross face here. Joe can't break it up. <laughs> Fucking idiot, Joe. <laughs> Oh, and then he gets blasted by Lean Gary again. <laughs> oh, God, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? I should have just given everybody blackout. Oh, Odon up in the, in the nick of time. <laughs> Line dancer. Oh, another inverted atomic. He loves the inverted atomic drop. There's another one. Oh my god, third one of the match. Absolutely brutal from Lean Gary. Only a one count. Joe was hovering just out of range. <laughs> just on the peripherals, Joe was there. Oh, this is it. The fireman slam. Boom. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, he kicks out. Somehow, Lean Gary kicks out. Odon could not stop it. <laughs> oh, wow. The double leg drop and then the, uh, the like, punt drop kick. Odon's feeling worse for wear, but can Lean Gary stick it in? No, just Joe's a tough little bastard. He's saving too. He saved too many kittens from trees. They get done by that move. <laughs> Probably not. No. Oh, massive spine buster from Odont. And now, what's this? This is a jackhammer. It's a flak hammer, isn't it? He's he's hit him with a flak hammer. Is this it? No, Joe kicks out again. <laughs> Joe just powered by the hatred in his heart. <laughs> but here's the Odonta bomb. And this would end it if Lean Gary wasn't right there. <laughs> I'm thinking Lean Gary might, might break this up. Or maybe not, though. Oh, he puts the six shoot. No, it's, it's, a, it's a fucking 
Full Boston Crab. And we've seen that in matches before! Finally somebody ends a match with a Boston Crab. Lean Gary becomes the first man to ever win a match with a Boston Crab. Unbelievable in the JFW history. <laughs> Come on, Crab. Crab Gary. <laughs> Unbelievable. History. That is proper sus, isn't it? Vote him up. That is sus as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Wow, incredible performance from the two heads champ. <laughs> Next up. Oh, wow, this is amazing. We've got a bit of beef. We've got a bit of beef. We've got Dimmy and Flicky Flack and Moridan. So this is pretty amazing. I need to uh I need to app Dimmy now. Tell him. He's in a game, obviously obviously Dimmy's playing. <laughs> obviously Dimmy is playing right now, the only the only one who is. But there you go. <laughs> oh boy. Right. El buzzer. <laughs> he can rip off the balls. <laughs> he is more a He's still got his shears. He's ready to use them. <laughs> Murray's being quiet. <laughs> but he's not being quiet now. He's got these gelding shears out. And they, they'll cut straight through that spacesuit. So, Dimmy and Flicky Flack have got to, <laughs> got to keep an eye on him. <laughs> Good job he's not running with us. They can't, yeah, it can be answer, yeah. Maybe Murray's the imposter. He's being awfully quiet. <laughs> Pretty much everybody's more quiet when they're the killer, I think. Just because you don't want to stick your neck out as much, do you? And you want to hope that someone accuses somebody else. Buzzer! It's Buzzer! <laughs> it's Buzzer! <laughs> <laughs> if it's an electric, it's Jim. <laughs> I'm Jimmy fucking G, mate. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> If only there was a way to have a knife in somebody's head. That's, I love that for Dimmy. That's got to be his trademark now. But uh, I thought, let's just have Dimmy. Just be Dimmy. Glorious. <laughs> Fuck you, try. He's probably saying. <laughs> it's Bazza. And now the guy he's got beef with. The... Uh, the most interesting man in the hall of uh, in the hall of the JFW is, of course, wearing a helmet because that's that's the safest thing you can do. Um, <laughs> he gave me this statement, and it said, "I'm wearing a helmet because it's safe." So there you go. He's wearing a helmet. He's he's not like these guys who go crazy wearing you know stupid hats or horns or anything. He's wearing his helmet. Safety first. <laughs> oh, <Zikara>. oh dear. <laughs> yeah, voted him out before he got the chance to talk. God, that was so funny, wasn't it? I just voted him. <laughs> like everybody else did before. <laughs> before he said anything, it was horrible. I felt so bad. <laughs> Yeah, and he's brown, exactly, yeah. Brown's very, very wicky, yeah. <laughs> Dimmy just sitting back and shouting the crowd, It's Bazaar! It's Bazaar! 
<laughs> Fuck's sake, it's Bazaar! <laughs> Smashes out, smashes Moradam here. <laughs> oh dear me! Whoa, what a maneuver! And even it even kicked Flicky Flack at the same time. But now the power difference between Flicky Flack and Moradam surely is gonna is gonna take its toll. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking helmet. The helmet making him even bigger as well. Dimmy. Ah, uh, it's Gadane it killed Elliot. <laughs> oh, he gets his head taken off by a figgy flat. Oh god, look at this power bomb here to Noridan. Oh my god, that's absolutely brutal. But Moradam's tough. Poof. Sweet overcut. Where's Dimmy going? Nobody knows. <laughs> Dimmy losing a fight with himself at the moment. <laughs> and then he attacks Moradam. Hits him with a drop kick. Beautiful. No, it's a bit early for that. <laughs> Do your tasks for fuck's sake, Dimmy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, God, look at this. Pump handle, fall away, slam. Absolutely sat in then and then Flicky Flack injects Moradam. Unbelievable. Straight into the lava. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Yeah, Dimmy never does his tasks, does he? But I think he started doing more now. <laughs> I don't even know how to vent, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. If I see if I thought about it, I could have said, "I'm Jim, Mr. Jim Smith. Man has come out to vent." That would have been great, wouldn't it? Can think about it. Oh man! <laughs> say, oh my God! Look at that electric chair drop. And then a uh, flicky flack breaks it up. Comes windmilling in. <laughs> What's this? Oh, the the Lesnar shoulder charges. Absolutely brutal. But look at the agility by Dimmy there. Turning the tables on Flicky Flap. <laughs> Moridam staying out of this. Hanging back in the shadows. Oh, look at this. This is the worst move there is. <laughs> so bad I hate it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Elliot. <laughs> Elliot? It's Elliot. It's Elliot. Screamed Dimmy as he rolled out of the room. <laughs> the best. Oh my god, look at that. Moridam's claws may be gone straight through the suit there. The testicular claw hammering <laughs> Flicky's balls. I don't think this will be enough, but he can't be enjoying it. Whew. Really close. If he nails him with the... Uh, oh, God. If he nails him with the, with the nut shot, maybe he'll win. What was that from Dimmy? It was shit. Oh, he cowers the chokeslam, though. Gets him on his back. What the fuck is this? Oh man. Pancake. Dimmy's doing great here, isn't he, actually? Just a two count. <laughs> Elliot Kilgadenik. That was that was a great one when there was Elliot and Elliot and like Thor dead or something. <laughs> Elliot Kilgadenik. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and there's the ball shot. And funnily enough, Flicky Flack did kill Gadernik in the JFW. And here's the flak hammer on Little Moradam. Dimmy's been taken out by the ball shot. This could be it. It is, and Flicky Flack, the big guy, fully protected with his with his helmet on. Safety first. Well done, Flicky Flack. <laughs> <laughs> he's very safe he's got his helmet on everybody's happy <laughs> he, he, he's not an electric he's not an electricity he's not an electric but he is the most electrifying man in sports entertainment kind of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and next up, we've got we so now we've got the replacement. This was gonna be um, bleeding hippie, the the pretty much the best plimplum, one of the best plimplum pluserweights versus Skuro Metso and Tony plays poorly. But unfortunately, Tony couldn't get his uh, couldn't get his spacesuit to work. Uh, he kept trying, he could not get it to work. I <laughs> literally tried for an hour to get Tony's outfit to work. It would not work. So he has been replaced by Squirrel Dude from Claw, and um, just as you know, uh, so I mean, this these are definitely these are three of the best competitors in Plim Plum Plusa weight, heavyweight, and uh, light heavyweight division. So, in fact, he's the Plim Plum Plu. Uh, no, he's the Wem Dope champion, isn't he, Squirrel Dude? So, this is. Uh, so I guess yeah, I guess the 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 Wem Dope champ replaced the world champ, which is kind of fair, isn't it? <laughs> he is hippie. <laughs> yeah, he still got his. He still got his playing Quidditch helmet on and his Quidditch bat. Uh, but he's now a space Quidditch player. So there you go. That's good, isn't it? Um, I don't know, it's a spacesuit. I don't I don't fucking know. <laughs> Yeah, for people to milk him. That's the that's the clearly the right answer. That's the only acceptable <laughs> the only acceptable answer is <laughs> so that people can milk him. <laughs> Obviously. Why why did you even ask? <laughs> oh no, Skuro. He hit himself as a wrestler. <laughs> but this is the <laughs> this is the outfit he wears <laughs> when uh, when among us. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of pyro for, for a guy <laughs> with fucking horns. sense now. <laughs> oh, that's what I should have. This is an emergency meeting. That's what I should have said on the promo. But he was in the wrong fucking clothes. I guess so. I guess I guess Jimson's clothes didn't work as well. That's so annoying, isn't it? So Jimson's suit didn't work as well as Tony's. 
But he is Squirrel Dude. In his shiny outfit. <laughs> With his wemmed up championship belt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a great hat, isn't it? I thought I saw, I found the hat, and I thought, well, seeing as you know, Squirrel Dude's dead shiny, I thought let's give him, let's give him a shiny suit and a shiny hat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Flicky Flag. It is. It is an Among Us Stand Firm special. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look a bit like a shell, a shell suit. <laughs> Squirrel dude, all about doing his tasks. <laughs> Squirrel with his horns. <laughs> he does. He does have horns in Among Us. To be fair. Wow, Squirrel dude's very shiny, isn't he? Holy shit. <laughs> X drums, but he's not in this. No, no, sadly. <laughs> this is the. This is. It's been a really fast show, actually, hasn't it? This one. I just realised because the first one, uh, the first one wasn't really a match, unfortunately. It was double count out straight away. Oh wow! Big spear from Skuro. Tables, <laughs> ladders, and vents. Yes. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, B is Monday, yeah. Whoa, big clothesline from Squirrel Dude. Oh, and look at that, you can tell he's scouted his opponent with that move. He's obviously <laughs> he's obviously been in security on the cameras. <laughs> Often on the cameras, isn't he, Squirrel Dude? And speaking of cameras, oh, look at that from Squirrel's Miss All. <laughs> Hammer's hippie there. <laughs> no, he just, he just has horns for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow look at that from hippie hippie's really good i wonder if uh i wonder if his vision's improved in space or if, he, if he's still gonna fall short with that fucking move that he does <laughs> yes you did you did flick you were against dimmy and moradam yeah <laughs> That's maybe a bit much for Squirrel, but I don't know, it's alright, isn't it? He's the same green as Skuro normally, so I thought, let's just make him shiny. <laughs> oh, he's the Calf Crusher. He's <laughs> the Calf Crusher against the Goat Man. <laughs> What's this? It's the sit out last ride. Squ squirrel's finisher. I've just realised it's also squirrel and squirrel. Fuck's sake. Oh, what a manoeuvre. Absolutely brutal. God, cover squirrel, cover squirrel. If he's on the outside, this could be it. He's nailed him with the, uh, with the thing, but it has, his finisher, but it hasn't, it hasn't finished him. Skuro still in this. Oh, and what a German suplex. Devastating. 
<laughs> indeed, Flicky, indeed. Gorilla couldn't make it tonight, Flicky. So it's a, it's sadly a solo broadcast, but maybe it's good that Gorilla couldn't make it, because I feel like he wouldn't, <laughs> he wouldn't be the biggest fan <laughs> of his boy Skuro <laughs> in fucking horns in a spacesuit. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. Oh my god, what a lariat. <laughs> Absolutely devastating. <laughs> oh, the cannonball in the corner. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's probably playing among us. Oh, more sense than to be doing anything worse. Oh, that looked like Squirrel Dude's arm was broken there. He couldn't do his taunt properly. And Hippie trying to take advantage, but getting kicked in the fucking head. Oh, look at that. Straight back to his feet. <laughs> Go on the top. But that was ill-advised. <laughs> because unlike in... Uh, <laughs> Unlike on the moon, uh, what goes... No, the moon. Unlike in a... Oh, God, he's fucked up his arm again. Unlike in zero gravity, what goes up must come down. There you go. That works. Kind of. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa! What a fucking move! That was incredible, wasn't it, from Hippie? Haven't seen that before. Outrageous. And there's the go of uh, Skuro with those horns again. Going straight for Hippie. But holy shit, what a move that was. Oh, and there's another big move. What a maneuver, as they say. Cover him, Hippie. Cover him. Skrull dude's giving the invisible man a blowy on the outside. Perfect chance to get Skuro. Doesn't put him away. But he is doing his comeback. Oh. <laughs> so in the animation he does the kip up. And in this he just gets fucking covered. Amazing. Oh look at that. That's fucking crazy that move isn't it? I don't know what it's called. But it's impressive. <laughs> it, would. it would have been incredible if it had ended the match, yeah. Holy shit. Squirrel dude, looking to set him up. Last ride. This might be it, but Squirrel might get back in. He's getting to his feet. Oh, he doesn't need to get back in. Hippie kicks out. What a beast. There's the third spear of the match. Skuro really going to town with these horns. But Skrull kicks out. Nobody's giving up, unlike if Tony was in the match. And here's the pop-up power bomb. It's coming. This could be it for Skrull, dude. Whoa. One, two. Oh, he kicks out. Amazing stuff. Look at that from Hippie. I don't know what that move is, but it's it's a move. And and Hippie did it to Skuro. <laughs> and now he's going for some kind of what's this? Oh, I think this is like I know what this is called. No, I don't. It's something like the ru the cattle rustler or some stupid thing. Anyway, look, there's the there's a, a pedigree, but doesn't win him the match because Skrull Dude's right up. And Skrull Dude was waiting to do his finisher, but got intercepted by Skuro. Hippie's out of it. He can't stop him. But Skrull kicks out somehow again, and then ejects himself. <laughs> What a fucking move. Busted open hippie, my god. The bullet edge and everyone's fucked. <laughs> everyone's absolutely fucked. <laughs> Just everybody's fucked. <laughs> oh 
What the hell? Yes, one turned off the power. Jesus. No, he couldn't do that. <laughs> Indeed, Bezel. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That's all gone. <laughs> Squirrel dude can't break it up, and the rev can't count. <laughs> oh dear me! <laughs> okay, um, let's try his hippie. No, Skuro. No. Let's try his hippie. No, it's not working. Okay, so I guess this match is going to have to be abandoned. Um, so yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> That's the end of that. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, the game crashed. But now it's time for the, <laughs> for the main event. And it's an Extreme Rules Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match. We've got Muppet Pac-Man representing the Plim Plum Pluserweight. We've got Calcium Kaz representing the Light Heavyweights. We've got McNaughton representing the Heavyweights. And we've got Purple Chest representing the Super Heavyweights. So it's going to be pretty amazing. A Fatal 4-Way just like the end of a, uh, an Among Us match. Oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No one expected this, no. The imposters won. <laughs> PC is a super, yeah, he doesn't look it, does he? But he is. Maybe he should be a heavyweight, to be fair. But he isn't at the moment. <laughs> he's calcium <laughs> even in space he's got his beanie hat on <laughs> calcium ready for the best 10 seconds of his life <laughs> Yes, McNaughton. <laughs> and, uh. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't in the best 10 seconds. Is it? And here's McNaughton. Will McNaughton. Are McNaughton and, uh. And Calcium over there, a little feud. Is, is Wendy completely out of the picture? I guess we're gonna find out now. <laughs> well, sorry, Humorous Chimp. I did it blue to match the blue of his thing. I didn't know you were orange. Sorry. He's got matching his face paint in the JFW. If you don't like it, you can fuck off, you drooling ape. <laughs> he's Scottish. He's got Scottish suit on. That's it. I just realised you should have had all the champions in, shouldn't I? But never mind. 
I didn't. No, you can't. And here's Muppet, the Plimplom Plus of it. He's got his he's got his scientist glasses on on his head. Look, just like the game in Snacker's Yellow. <laughs> Looks like he's been electrocuted in electric. <laughs> it would have been, yeah. It took long enough to make it basic as fuck though, so... <laughs> Tony getting banned. It's pretty great that he's got the glasses in it, like the uh, like Muppet in the game. I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> Here's PC, he's got his Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought the best PC was when he had his Rambo headband on, so... <laughs> PC's got his Rambo headband on. <laughs> that, to me, is prime PC. Oh, no, I didn't think of it wrecking his, uh, the back thing. Never mind. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I could have had all the champions in a match, couldn't I? I just realised. Oh, stupid. Oh god, look at that from Calcium Brew. Big boot from PC, but it misses. McNaughton not killing Calcium in the uh, in, within the first ten seconds. That's pretty sus. <laughs> Maybe Calcium's the imposter. <laughs> yeah, calcium going straight for the guy the size of a fourteen-year-old. <laughs> no, no coincidence there. PC look, looks like he's trying to m persuade McNaughton with his silky voice. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> Glorious, WTF thank you, Gengar. Is this RFL? <laughs> thank you, Gengar, for staying fantastic. This is an Among Us special for, um, for the JFW stand firm. Everyone's, everyone's in their Among Us attires and... Uh, Colours mostly, and uh, having a right match of it. Calcium has been ejected, but he's not dead. He will be. He will be returning. <laughs> oh God, Muppet smashed by PC here. What's PC got something in mind? Dastardly in mind. Oh God, it's like. Oh my God, look at that! Jesus Christ, that's. He might have. He might have. Dislocated his shoulder with that manoeuvre. <laughs> yeah, everyone sus. <laughs> Can't see him out oh, yeah. there. Oh, it's a shame that the back bit is done in by the uh, band. I didn't think that. I really like that. I really like headband PC. Oh God, calcium missing wildly with a kick, and the second one gets countered. Looks like McNaughton's still got calcium's number. Oh, but Calcium manages to... No, he doesn't annihilate... It's a Hurricane Rana look! Because he does the pin! Incredible. But countered by Calcium. Oh, near fall for Calcium. And he goes back to beating on a 14-year-old. <laughs> Sized opponent. Oh, God. Absolutely savage. Yeah, he's, he's got calcium number and he's got Wendy's number. <laughs> oh, look at this. The, oh, God. McNaughton's been tossed off by PC. <laughs> you can hear PC pleading innocent. I didn't see anything. I've got no idea what happened. <laughs> You can hear Dimmy yelling from backstage. It's Muppet. It's self-reported. It's Muppet. <laughs> oh my God! PC looked like he just died there. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Calcium unloading on Muppet. Oh, what's this? 
Oh, it's the head scissors into the uh, into the old six one nine. Nails him. Can he hit the splash? Of course he can. Muppet doing quite well actually against Calcium now. Oh man, he is uh, McNaughton with a Scotch shooter. It isn't falls count anywhere. So, he's got to get back in the ring to tap. If PC doesn't tap anyway, he fights his way out of it. Muppet's got some ladders here. Throws on the ground, kicked in the chest. And then, kicked in the fucking face. <laughs> oh dear. The crane kick from Calcium. This could be it from Muppet. It is! <laughs> There's no big match Muppet tonight. He is out. Calcium has incredibly eliminated somebody. I can't believe it. Literally cannot believe it. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> If you pinned, you're thrown out of this ship in this match. Yep, so that's it. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's tough for Muppet, isn't it? Oh, PC's back gave out. Now McNaughton's gone after PC. This is pretty sus. I don't know why McNaughton isn't going for Calcium. Oh, look at that shot from Calcium. Oh, big counter from PC, though. <laughs> oh the fight back's on oh a dragon screw under the ladder as well that can't be good calcium in for the cover only a one count McNaughton's going for the flying Scotsman no he's going for it oh my god he nails him <laughs> Oh, outrageous! PC votes himself off after that. Good night. That's a very theatrical, uh, very theatrical knee drop from McNaughton. No good. <laughs> oh, PC hammers him. Oh god, it's a tombstone pile driver. Oh my god, this could be it for this could be it for McNaughton. <laughs> Calcium fully misses. <laughs> oh no. That's like killing in front of the group. <laughs> it just completely misses. Oh, what a move there, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this double team from Pete. I think it's PC and Cass here. <laughs> They're teaming up brutally on McNaughton. Oh, Calcium takes them both out. Maybe we should have made the triple threats eliminations actually. But it's still been on over an hour, I guess. And the first match was unexpectedly super short. Oh boy. <laughs> Can't see him rolling all the way all the way to the moon there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Muppet, yeah. <laughs> Obvious self-report. Oh, Cal PC there with a bit of acting. Maybe PC's the imposter. Oof. Big move on the outside. It's very, uh, very... Very even match this, no one's really got too much going, but this is the second Scotch shooter from McNaughton, but again it's on the outside. 
Calcium can't be asked with this. He says, look, mate, I've been in here more than 10 seconds. I don't know what to do now. And to that, McNaughton says, get fucked. <laughs> Boosh, kicked in the face, split open, lands on the concrete floor, and again, oh my god, Calcium absolutely fucked by McNaughton there. <laughs> so Calcium has just been save, saving up his finishers, just so he can completely wreck Calcium. <laughs> that seems pretty legit. <laughs> Yeah, fixing the lights is the imposter's always good, isn't it? Because it doesn't really cost you anything. And gets you a bit of trust. Big power driver from McNaughton. But McNaughton, Calcium, look at this. He's covered in blood. Oh, but look at this. He's got the he's got the crane kick to McNaughton. This could be it. Calcium could eliminate McNaughton after eating those two kicks to the face. The super cut kicks to the face. This is bad times for Calcium. Oh, God, look at this. There's another, the third crane kick of the match. This could be it for PC. Oh, PC kicks out. Go back and cover McNaughton. Oh my god, this is crazy stuff. <laughs> Can't see him having a rest. <laughs> Gets punched in the side of the head by McNaughton. Oh, and flips out of the suplex. He needs to get more covers in. I mean, surely these guys are on their last legs now. Everybody is. We've seen that in matches before. Calcium going for the cover. Oh. PC will not stay down. Yeah, I've been refueling the engines. I haven't seen anything. <laughs> And uh, we've got a prediction from the from the locker room I hear. Dimmy G says it's Bazza. <laughs> Unfortunately Bazza not in this match and somehow Calcium kicks out after taking those two super cooks. He kicks out. And what's going on here? Oh god! McNaughton lays them both out with a huge axe handle. And Calcium wisely, wisely hides in the dark. <laughs> Hoping one of these will kill the other. Oh, somehow PC, how are these guys so tough? Somehow PC kicks out. That's <laughs> 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 oh, pretty great though, wasn't having the helmet on. I enjoyed that. Oh McNaughton's got another super cook lined up. But calcium nailed him before he could hit it. Oh and there he goes, the kick to the face. That that illegal crane kick from P from calcium to PC. And somehow PC kicks out again. This is ridiculous. My god. PC just randomly trying to grapple <laughs> McNaughton. <laughs> he obviously trusted McNaughton 100%. He's <laughs> just trying to give him a hug. <laughs> oh, the vicious. The vicious neck crank. Brutal. Oh, well, the Feynman's carry, though, and now McNaughton might have this, this super cook lined up still. Oh, he nails him with the elbows. Only one. Wisely rolling out again, PC. Oh, oh, Calcium stops it! Oh, my God, amazing counter from Calcium. But can he get anything else going? Yes, he can. Another counter. Oh, there's the low blow. There's no DQ in this. This has surely got to be an elimination from Calcium. Oh, sweet revenge from Calcium there. <laughs> Absolutely destroying McNaughton's cock and balls in one fell swoop. 
But PC hammers him with a tombstone pile driver. This could be two, this could be PC's match right now. Oh my god, how did he kick out? <laughs> oh, <can't see> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> You've had more than the best ten seconds of your life in this match, Calcium. <laughs> Still going strong. The final two. <laughs> oh, wow. Calcium's eliminated both people so far, but he's taken so much damage. <laughs> yeah, PC. Oh, dear. And look at this, covered in blood. Another big counter from Calcium. This could be it. This is it. That's another, another crane kick to the face. This has got to be it. It is. Calcium wins. And it looks like the Skeld Space Station is also Tony's dojo. As he dominates the, uh, the grand final of the uh, Among Us. Stun Firm Special. Absolutely glorious. Unbelievable. And if you ask me, that's pretty fucking sus. There he is. <laughs> Covered in blood. There's your imposter. Calcium cats. <laughs> right. That's all we've got time for. So, pretty amazing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.